what's going on guys next out js is a complete open source authentication solution for next js applications and this solution is designed to work with any auth service it supports auth 1.0 and 2.0 i'm going to leave a link here where i explain how to set it up in a next js application in this video i'm going to show you how to integrate next auth with github to sign in into our next js application using that platform don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get to it Okay, this is our next Shayes application, and this is our catch all route where we have the different providers for next auth. So here we are going to add a new provider. In this case, it will be GitHub. So this is providers.github. And here we're going to pass an object with two properties a client ID. We are going to use an environment variable to set it up. So this will be process.env.github client ID and the client secret, client secret. And this will be another environment variable. So this is process.env.github client secret. Okay, now I'm going to copy these two environment variable names. And I'm going to paste those names here, one for the GitHub client ID and another one for the GitHub client secret. Okay, now let's go to GitHub's administration panel to create a new application so that we can get our client ID and client secret. In order to set up our application in GitHub, we have to go to github.com slash login. We need to enter our credentials and we need to click on sign in. Once we are logged in, we need to go to settings and here we need to click on developer settings. And here we are going to create our GitHub app. So we need to click on new GitHub app. We need to set a name for our application. So here we can use next out integration app. I'm going to set the homepage URL. In our case, this will be localhost in the port 3000. This is the default port for next JS applications. And here we are going to set the callback URL that will be localhost 3000 slash API slash out slash callback slash GitHub. I'm going to keep this option selected, expire user authorization tokens. I'm going to disable webhooks. And here we have different options to assign permissions to this app. In this case, we are going to allow access to the user email so here we need to go to user permissions and here we need to allow read-only access to the user's email address. And I'm going to click on create GitHub app. Okay, our application has been successfully created. So we need to generate a new client secret for this client ID that we have here. So I'm going to click on generate a new client secret. Okay, now I'm going to grab the client ID and the client secret, and I'm going to paste those values in our env file. So first I'm going to paste the client ID, and now I'm going to grab this client secret from here, and I'm going to paste it in our environment variable for the client secret for GitHub. Okay, now let's run our next JS application, and let's try to sign in with our GitHub account. Let's run the application, npm run dev, Let's open the browser. I'm going to click here on sign in. And now I'm going to click on sign in with GitHub. And here we need to authorize our GitHub applications to access to our email address. So I'm going to click on authorize next out integration app. And now we are redirected back to our application. And here, okay, I guess we should change something here, session.user.name. And now I'm signing as pragmatic reviews. Let's go to the database. Here we can see in our accounts collection that we have a new document with this new provider that is GitHub. If we go to sessions, we're gonna see a session token that will be the same that we're going to find in the session token that we have here. 
if we go to the users collection, we're gonna find our user. And as we can see here, we only have access to the name and the image of the user's avatar. So in order to be able to access the user email, we need to go to GitHub. We need to log in to the account that we are going to use to test our application. And we need to go to settings. And here we need to go to emails. And here we need to uncheck this option, keep my email address private. So I'm going to click here to uncheck this value. And now we need to go to profile and we need to select the email that we want to make public. So I'm going to click here on my email and I'm going to click on update profile. Okay, now let's go back. I'm going to remove this user, actually this document from the Mongo database. And I'm going to log in again. So I'm going to click on sign in. I'm already authorized the application. So just to authorize it again, let's go to applications. Let's go to authorized GitHub apps. And let's revoke the permission to our application. Okay, let's go back. And now let's click on sign in with GitHub. Now we are going to authorize the application to access to our GitHub account. I'm going to click on authorize next health integration app. And now we are signing as pragmatic reviews. Let's go to the database. Let's refresh the user's collection. And now we're going to see that we have the name, the image of the user and the email of the user. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.